In this chapter, the most important and good-to-know functions of the machine will be explained. Please remember, a safe and secure operation of the machine always has the highest priority. All Volvo wheeled excavators are equipped with an RPM control switch and a work mode selection switch. The operator can adjust the RPM in nine different steps between low idle at 800 RPM to high idle at 1900 RPM. This is possible in work modes W and C. In park mode P, the machine is in preparation to shut off. No hydraulic function will work and the RPM is set to low idle. Travel mode T is dedicated for travel on public roads. The RPM is automatically adjusted with regard to your travel pedal position, just like a normal car. In this mode, if you lined up your superstructure to your undercarriage, there is no hydraulic function working except travel, brake and steering. In any work mode, everything is working and adjustable. But for the most economical outcome, you should operate in the echo mode, the most efficient way to operate your machine. When you start the machine, it will be activated by default. The echo mode gives you great handling with less fuel consumption. It will control your machine's RPM and thereby avoid unnecessary fuel consumption and yet increase productivity. Digging is usually performed in W mode with active echo mode. In this case, you operate the machine most efficiently and it's still possible to reduce fuel consumption by reducing the engine RPM as necessary. For interruptions during your work, turn the auto idle function on to save fuel if the machine is not needed. This would decrease the engine RPM, but as soon as the operation continues, the RPM will go back to its original adjusted value. When digging in harder material, extra digging force might occasionally be required. In order to select the power boost, press the switch on the right-hand control lever. This will be indicated on the display. Now, you'll have additional hydraulic pressure for a period of time selected in the machine settings, enabling you to fill the bucket faster. Press the button before entering the material. If the bucket gets stuck, pressing the power boost usually doesn't help. The regeneration system is running in the background and the operator does not have to be involved in any interaction with the system except filling the AdBlue DEF tank. Volvo engines are equipped with a diesel particulate filter and with an additional AdBlue DEF injection system. The regeneration status can be checked in a monitor submenu. The level of the AdBlue DEF fluid is shown directly on the main screen, so you can assure that the AdBlue DEF level is correct. For lifting and digging, use the outriggers to increase the stability of the machine. The operator can move the stabilizers and the blade independently to adjust the machine to an uneven surface. Each machine can vary depending on market and customer specification. If the machine is only equipped with a blade, there's no need to preset anything. If equipped with a blade and two outriggers or four outriggers, it's possible to choose and activate each function separately on the monitor of the machine. On the right-hand console, in the lower right-hand corner of the monitor keypad is the stabilizer section button. Pushing this button will activate a screen in the monitor where the preferred functions can be selected. This can be done with the arrow buttons on the same keypad. The monitor will highlight the selection in yellow. After activation, the preferred outriggers can be operated with the lever in the middle of the left-hand console.
Residual pressure in the hydraulic system could lead to oil jetting out under high pressure, causing personal injury, even if the engine has not been running for some time. Always release the pressure before any kind of service on the hydraulic system is carried out. Read the operator's manual about how to place the machine in the correct service position. Make sure the attachments are secured on the ground. After engine shutdown, turn the ignition key to the running position. Do not start the engine. Move the control lockout lever up to unlock the system. Move the operating levers in all directions and the side switches on both levers to release pressure on all functions. And lastly, release the pressure in the tank by pressing the knob on the ventilation filter. Although it's mostly the truck driver who's responsible for transportation, it is useful to know the basics of loading an excavator onto a trailer. Clean the machine as stones and clay can fall off and cause severe damage. Depending on the size of the excavator and type of trailer, the digging equipment can be placed in both a folding or extended position. Release the pressure in the hydraulic system. Close the windows. Fold in the mirrors and any accessories that are likely to increase the transport width. Disconnect the main battery switch. Lock all doors and hatches because high wind turbulence during transport could cause them to fly open and result in damage. Fold down the beacon. Use the anchor points on the excavator to secure the machine. Use the holes in the undercarriage to secure the machine. Chains are attached diagonally, lengthwise, and one chain is used to secure the cross movements. Make sure that the lowest possible transport height is obtained. If the excavator is too high, severe damage can be caused to bridges and similar structures. Walk around to check that everything looks normal and correct before transport. Volvo diesel engines have a high torque already at 1300 RPM. Everything above that may make the hydraulic faster, but is not that efficient because of the increased fuel consumption. Select the best work mode for your application. Make sure the teeth are not worn out. Clean the machine before transport and make sure the lowest possible transport height is obtained and fold in the rear view mirrors and lock all doors.